In this video you will learn how to play the main riff in Black Mountain Side, the solo acoustic guitar number as played by Jimmy Page on the first Led Zeppelin album. The first thing we need to do is tune the guitar. We are going to use a tuning which you may have heard of called Dadgad, which is also known as Celtic tuning. For Dadgad tuning, we drop the low E, the B and the top E strings by one tone, which is also known as a whole step, equivalent to two frets, leaving the other three strings as they are. In addition, to mimic how Jimmy Page recorded the track, we will then tune all six strings down one semitone, also known as a half step, and equal to one fret. This gives us the dadgad tuning, but the notes are all flats. D flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, and D flat, Now we have got the guitar tuned, let's take a quick look at the intro before we move on to the riff itself. The opening chord is made by using your middle finger to fret the G string at the second fret. Play that with a single upstroke. Listening closely to the harmonic part that follows, I hear it as being played at the 7th fret only. Rest your finger gently across the strings at the 7th fret without pressing down and fretting them. Then do a downstroke followed by an upstroke then another downstroke. Now we have got the intro out of the way, let's move on to the focus of the lesson. I will be making lesson videos for the other parts of the song, but for the time being we are deliberately focusing on the main riff. If you can play this straight off the bat, that's great, but for most players it will require a significant amount of practice to get it down. This especially applies to those who are not hardened acoustic players and perhaps more used to playing an electric guitar. We are going to be using a hybrid picking style. We will be holding a guitar pick as usual, but also using our middle and ring fingers. We'll divide it into three parts like this. This is part one. Use the pick to play the G string while simultaneously plucking the top E with your middle finger. Now for the tricky bit which is part two. What we are doing is dragging the middle finger up and across the top three strings. As we do that, we are muting those top three strings at the second fret with the index finger of the left hand. When we reach the last of those three strings, the G string, pull off from the second fret to the open G string. Then, with the pick, play the D string at the 4th fret. Moving on to the third and final part of the riff. 
first fret the A string at the second fret with your index finger and the B string at the second fret with your middle finger. Then play the A string note with the pick while plucking the B string note with your middle finger. Next, fret the low E string at the third fret with your ring finger and play it with the pick. Then use either the middle or ring finger alternately to pluck the G, B or E string. The first time we hear the riff on the record, Jimmy plucks the G string in the first riff, then the B string in the next three riffs, and the top E string on the four riffs that follow. I'll be making lessons for the other parts of the tune shortly. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. Cheers for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.